Good afternoon. Today is October 18th and it's 2.22 p.m. And today I want to address the mainstream crowd, the conventional crowd, you who is watching TV every day, you who is into football, you who is into, I don't know, wrestling, punching, kicking, mainstream, you who is seeking for acceptance, you who is afraid, you who has negativity all around you, you who is suicidal, you who is afraid, you who thinks that there is no one in the world to really trust and everything is like you're doomed to everything and everything is too late and here is what I want you to know that which you are that which you are so strict with and passionate about is that which you were conditioned with since you were a little boy and a little girl and it's something that you putting yourself into into this little box and you think that putting yourself in this little box you are safer they're not putting yourself in that little box because you don't think that there is anything outside that little box and therefore you are stuck in your little box and it is the way that religious te you know religious way of being he is ta has taught you to be it is the way that if you think about it very clearly it is the way that the world around you is at large it is the way the television you know messages come at you it's about being scared lonely everybody's fighting everybody's this and that and I'll t have to tell you the truth there is another way to live your life there is another way to connect with people there is other mindsets and there are people that have made a lot of money off your fear trust me all the little buttons you have and all the little reactions that you have and all the ways that you are emotionally investing in things actually creates choices and those choices that you're doing that come from the deep wounds that you have since you were a child you are now projecting that into the world and you think that it's too late you think that everybody's acting like that and you think there's no other way and then when somebody presents you with a genuine opportunity to perhaps change your mind you totally brush it off you totally block it and you even excuse them of pressuring you like you've been pressured when you were a child I'm here to give you a different message I'm, one message I'm here to give you is wait wake that mm, up <laughs> wake up because that is not true it's not and that is not who you are your thoughts is not who you are you can change your thoughts in any moment there is a book called conversations with God that talks about thoughts words and deeds and what that means is that that's the process of manifestation did you know that the sewing machine was actually invented from dreams did you know that everything comes from ideas go and reach read the book think and grow rich by napoleon hill it's a famous book that a lot of millionaires have quoted in and and documented from it is an incredible book and he talks about the process of manifestation everything starts with an idea thoughts words deed all aligned together so when you are so passionate about the world being bad the world being too late you, you being suicidal blah 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 guess what you are perpetuating that story into the world attracting situations into your life that will actually cause you to experience that and validate your ideas as you put your thoughts and your emotions and your action into that Therefore, people that want to give you love, people that want to share with you other ways of being will come into your life and you'll cut them off. You'll say something that will not want them to be in your presence. And guess what? They're going to block you. And what is that going to do? That's going to affirm in your mind, oh yeah, that's how people are. And you know what? That is how you are. So that is my, my message to you today. For all you conventional TV watchers, chips eating, McDonald's biting, hamburgers, sipping coke, um, <laughs> all of you out there that are vegetating yourself on TV, here is what you need to do. You need to go to greenforlife.com and read a book called Green for Life by Victoria Botanko so you understand about raw living foods. 
you need to join me in my business opportunity so you don't get stuck in your nine to five job forever and number three you need to go and read conversations with God and know it's not a religious book and it will change your life okay so I'm done for today you guys have a great day and uh, may my determination and passion truly speak to you namaste